Hi there, I'm Mary Susie from Bead Me a Story, and today I'm going to show you how to make this uh, stretchy clover flower bracelet. Um, this is a, a beginner project uh, in chain mail. It just uses uh, rubber O-rings, which uh, get folded over, so it's two-sided. I'll just let you see this on the side, that we're actually folding our O-rings over and doubling them. That gives us a little bit more strength. This is not a very uh, uh, large project. This is the smaller version of this weave that I do. And you can see that it, it's, it's probably only about, I don't know, 10 or 12 millimeters wide. Okay, so it's a nice tiny bangle to wear. And I thought this would be a great one to do with St. Patrick's Day coming up and do our green. And you can see all the little clover flowers that are in this, all the little, uh, three leaf clovers that we have going on. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to get started with this weave, um, I'm using uh, two pairs of uh, Zeron pliers. These are the ones I normally use. This is what I prefer to use. Um, generally when I'm working with something small, I like the chisel nose and I use my point down just because it gives me a nice small tip. And then um, I'm also gonna bring into this uh, these these are basically a bent tweezer nose plier. You can also use the tweezer nose pliers from Zoran. They're great because they can get inside of the jump ring and it'll still, you can see it still opens up enough where we can grab one of the O-rings and pull it inside the jump ring. Okay, so we'll be doing a lot of that. And um, so just, just to start with, I've gone ahead and uh, gotten 20 gauge, 5 30 second jump rings. These are closed. And then 20 gauge, 1 8 inch jump rings. These are all open. And then I've got my 7.4 millimeter O-rings. These are very skinny O-rings. And we're gonna be using three of these per row. So um, everything we're doing is basically gonna get doubled. And um, this is gonna have a little added strength because we are connecting to two and the two that we're connecting to in each row is going to be folded in half okay so let's go ahead and get started with this so the first thing we want to do is we want to put two of these little units together okay so here's here's what i had the the jump ring that's closed and then our rubber o-ring and i'm going to use my pliers now i just want to show you that you don't have to use the pliers if you prefer to because I showed you using the pliers. If you prefer to, you can just do this, okay? And then just remember, we're gonna do that three times. It is possible, just do it with your hands, but I just found it faster and easier to, to use these uh, tweezers and nose pliers to do it with. Okay, so I've got my first two. Now, when we start our first uh, few steps here, we're actually working on the first clover flower and the second clover flower all at the same time because they have to be connected to one another. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up one of these and I found it easiest to kind of pinch up on the jump ring. I'm, I'm gonna end up folding this uh, rubber O-ring in half. And so if I can get a good grab on the jump ring, then I can just pass my new open jump ring through both sides of that, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side with our second jump ring and o-ring combination okay some sometimes these will fly off just you know you gotta gotta get used to working with the materials oops sorry i seem to be dropping everything today there you go okay so this is what our first step looks like and i want to turn this right so you can see these are our larger o-rings okay and this is this is the small one that we've just added to it okay so now i'm going to take this same unit and this is where you know again you can try passing this through with your fingers it'll it'll still work no problem i just find it easier to do this okay and do this gently when you pull these on do it gently because it's real easy to pull the o-ring all the way through and out the other side and then you got to start all over again okay and i'll tilt this up so you can kind of see what i'm doing see how i'm just gently putting that between the pliers i'm not holding that tight 
I'm just holding it just enough to where I can pull it through this jump ring, okay? And then I'm gonna set that down again. Okay, so here's my first two petals that I connected, and I'm gonna connect these two petals in the same way. So I'm gonna bring in another one of these 20 gauge, uh, 1 8 inch jump rings, and I'm gonna connect these two together. So each of these will get folded in half, just like the last time. So I'm gonna pick it up, and kind of push up against one side, okay? See how I've got it folded in half, so I'm catching it twice, really. And then I'm gonna bring it around to this other side. And I went through one and two sides of that rubber O-ring. Okay. All right, so now you can kind of start to see these two, these two petals are on the right-hand side flower, and these two petals are on the left-hand side flower. We're gonna leave the left side alone for now, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and add a third petal to my right-hand side flower. Okay, now this gets a little bit trickier. Now you have to kind of decide how much you want that um, pair of pliers if you're using them to go into here and sometimes I have to pull pull my jump ring out a little bit oops oh see I'll, I let this get turned the wrong way and I was working on the wrong no wonder it wouldn't fit another good reason to use uh, pliers I knew that should be fitting easily couldn't figure out why it wasn't let me just get a better closure on this while we're over here. Okay, all right, sorry about that. Okay, so you can see this is a bigger jump ring now. So two on the left, two on the right. Okay, and now I'm gonna pull the third petal through. And again, don't pull too hard on these. First of all, you don't wanna damage the rubber O-ring um, and secondly, you know, again, you can just pull it right through out the other side. So you want to move a little slower and be careful with that. Okay. Now I'm going to let this third, uh, third petal fold in half and I'm going to pass the jump ring through it. Okay. And I'm going to, I'm going to set it down and leave it alone, but you can see all three. Here's one, two, three petals around the same jump ring. Now I'm going to bring in a new jump ring. I pass my pliers through it. Grab a new rubber O-ring. Pull this on. Okay, and then I'm gonna get a better grip on this over here. Again, push this forward. And this is now folded in half so we can pass that through. Okay, so we've just started, we finished up our first complete flower, and then we started onto a new flower. Okay, here, let me hold this up closer for you. Okay, so you got one, two, three petals, and then you can see this is our new flower that we just started. So I'm going to now put on a second petal to this. Just pulling it through, grab my jump ring. Okay, and then this time, um, I'm gonna pass through over here first, and then I'm gonna come back over here and connect to um, one of the, the, the petal that's closest to me, okay, from this previous one. So you're connecting back to your previous flower twice. And then when you, when, whenever you do a third petal, you're generally um, connecting to a new flower that you're starting. Okay, so I've got that on there. I'm gonna turn this back around and connect through my previous. Okay. I can kind of 
pull this out a little bit okay, just so you can see all right so here's here's my complete flower and now you can see I attached it up here and down here and then the next time I do it it's going to connect at the top instead of the bottom okay so it kind of alternates because we're working with a triangle you can you can see that um you know this triangle is wider at the bottom and then the next triangle will be wider at the top and then the next triangle will be wider at the bottom so you're just kind of alternating because we're working with a triangle shape okay so this is my third o-ring on this next flower okay I will pick up my next jump ring and pass it through but I'm not going to close it okay but now you can see two two flowers that are completed okay and then we're going to go ahead and add another one apparently I didn't have enough jump rings okay oops Oop. Now it wants to get away. This next petal just doesn't want to happen. Okay. Pull that on. And then again, let's go and get a better grip. Now you, you can um, actually pull that through and start connecting here and then connect back um, over here if you want to. Uh, if you find that easier. But as you can see, we're doing our next... Flower. we're starting on to that that has one petal now okay and you can see that here's my first one here's my second one so you can see this one's pointed down this one's pointed up okay they're just little triangles okay so we're gonna keep uh, doing these connections until we have um, the full length where we want it to be and then at that point I will show you what to do next but again I, I just want to show this one more time so you can see we connected at the top here we're always connecting at the top and bottom but um, but you can see that we we need to make sure that this triangle is alternating in its direction each time so you just need to be careful that you're connecting at the right points on the previous flower. Okay. And then, you know, when you finish steps, you know, it's really not a problem to pull this larger jump ring out just so that it flattens everything out and you can kind of see what you're doing. Okay. So, um, like I said, continue on, just continue making this the same way. And then I will be back to show you how to complete it. Okay, so as you can see, I've reached the end of this. This is the full length that I needed to be to fit my wrist. And then um, I just want to show you that I've added the third petal onto here. Um, I, one thing I want to point out, um, you definitely want to try and have um, an even number of rows so that you get the up, down, up, down, up, down in your triangles. And then on the last one, I've added the third petal, okay? And I put the jump ring through it in order to grab on to uh, back to the beginning row. And then I've gone ahead and added the um, third petal to the very first row. If you remember, we kind of left that with just two petals on it. So I went back, I pulled a rubber O-ring through here and I added uh, a new jump ring to it. So now what we're gonna do is, I want you to see that when we bring this around, I have this at the bottom and I have this at the top, okay? And those are gonna hook right in to, um, to the, the end one will hook into the beginning one and the beginning one will hook into the end one down here, okay? So we'll just go ahead and do that. It's very simple. Uh, that's part of what keeps this one a beginner project is that um, it's probably harder to start than it is to finish, but it, it's, it's a pretty simple project all the way around. 
gives you good practice at working with uh, small jump rings and opening and closing those jump rings really well. Nice closures is what you always want. Okay, now I'm just gonna flip it around so that this is easier to reach. Oops, <laughs> went through the jump ring, not the O-ring. Okay, see how I'm going through both sides of that folded over O-ring and close. Okay, and that is all there is to it. You have a cute bracelet. You can stack this with some other bracelets. I, I brought in a couple just to show you. This is uh, my diagonal rope. This is also a free video. And I just want you to see that's a real, this is a really small little bangle. But you can see, um, you know, this may be wider, but it's not that much bigger than this. And this is a new one that I just did recently called Field Hand. And this is a little bit deeper, but um, you know, again, these are all very small bangles. And uh, here I'll give you some contrasting color just so you can see them all work together. And uh, bangles are great um, to wear all stacked together um, and get some really nice textures going. With each weave that you do, you get a new texture happening. So uh, this is a really fun one to do. It's very easy to do. And um, it kind of gives you like an open lacy look to it. So this is a really uh, pretty one to add to your uh, stacks of bracelets. Okay, hope you had a great time learning this. Um, please be sure to like and follow me on YouTube. And of course, um, this kit and other kits and all of these supplies are available at beadmeastory.com. Thank you so much.